Hi everybody, this is Catherine Seth here at Physic in Action. Today we're making apple chips with a sweet peanut butter dip. Now for this, what you're gonna need is a mandolin. Um, it is doable with a spiralizer, but we've tried it and it makes it a little bit too thin, a little bit too hard to um, grasp with the dip. So we're gonna go ahead and use our mandolin to make the chips, and here we go. So once you have them all into slices, you can choose to leave your centers in or not, as long as you don't have the apple seeds hanging around. Um, it's actually kind of pretty to see the stars that they're formed into them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay them on the baking sheet. You wanna make sure that they all have their individual spots, that they're not just everywhere. If you have some slices that are a bit thicker, like I have two right here that are my end pieces, I'm gonna wait till we put them in a separate uh, uh, sheet just so that they have time to cook all the same evenly. I don't want them to be uneven. Once you have your bacon sheet covered, you're gonna take cinnamon and you're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna have just a dash a little bit everywhere. And you're gonna do the same thing with a bit of nutmeg. Be careful with this, you wanna make sure that you're not going overboard. Just to have a dash of everything on here. And at this point, we're gonna put these in the oven until they're crispy. So we're gonna make this dip. This is actually the healthiest dip that we've found and actually tastes good, so that's always important, right? You're gonna to need to use it calls for one tablespoon of maple syrup. We're using two. The real stuff, use the real deal. We're gonna be using some, we have natural peanut butter. Um, don't go with the crunchy. It's not gonna be nice with chips. Use the smoothest that you can get. We're using Greek yogurt, nice and thick. It has a nicer flavor to it and you're getting more protein added. We're using a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. We're just gonna blend these and then we're gonna have our dip ready. There you have the finished product. They are awesome. You should see this when it's baking. It smells wonderful. The cinnamon, the apples, ugh! and the sauce is fantastic. So if you want them to be really chips and you don't want them to be soggy and whatnot, you're gonna have to let these cook probably for 20 minutes at 350 and then maybe drop it a bit down about to 300. Let them sit for another 20 minutes and you'll get something a little bit more crispy. So you actually dip in this fantabulous dip. This is awesome. And it's peanut butter, it's yogurt, it's maple syrup. It holds on nice and thick. Mm. It tastes really good. But it's so good that if you don't want to take the time to make the chips, you can have them just with a slice of apple. 
and it'll do the exact same thing. This stuff is, I swear, anything, use this. You can use it on toast, anything. You don't want to try these. 